take a chance with me. He was right. He was absolutely 100% right. So that, that, he didn't say anything that was false in that statement, and, but yet he's so hated. But a dim will come and, a dim will come and give us this BS rundown. Nonsense. See, it proved, my, it, it, it proved my point. Again, like, this, this whole thing about the, about the, um, the, the um, not union, the uh, Confederate soldier statue being taken down, right? Mm -hmm. Take the statue down, yeah, Confederate soldier, take them down, you know, they are racist, you know. Trump said, listen, all right, I was, I, he said, I want, want to, you're going to take them down, take down so, so, um, statues of um, Thomas Jefferson and, and, and Black Washington, they had slaves. Take the, take the statue down too, why not? Mm -hmm. He's right. But they ain't going that far because they like to make these token gestures of progress, mm -hmm. you know. But really, if you want to really, if you want to make a change and want to progress, you got to take those statues down too. They act listen to them because, again, they don't like them. And because to be an American, it means to be a white person, right? And to be patriotic means to love white people and love white people's ideas and ideals. So white people like Thomas Jefferson, George Washington, you must love them and look up to them, despite the fact that they're racist, rapists, sociopathic liars. Because when you say you love America, you know, you ain't talking about the bluegrass of Kentucky, the mouths of Colorado, you know, the, the, the rivers of New York. You ain't talking about that. You're talking about the ideas and ideals of white people who came centuries prior to and presently, right? And... And a white nationalist is Brady Sanders, Hillary Clinton, anybody who's supports the Democratic Party, Republican Party, you're a white nationalist because you're supporting American values. But they want to make it seem as if the white nationalists are just the skin has a KKK. No. If you are supporting the prominence of the American nation, the U.S. nation, America doesn't mean United States, America, North America, South America, Central America, Caribbean, that's all America, Right. When people say United, people say America, they typically try to co-opt it by meaning United States, because America means white person. Um, when you have the American value system, you support the U.S. and its endeavors locally, nationally, and you feel that you believe in American exceptionalism. What does that mean? That America accepts the rule. You know, you want to talk about Trump, you know, collude with the Russians, the Russians help. Trump did the election, which was a lie, mm -hmm. right? You know, what does collude mean? Like, oh, well, you know, these people from Russia made these Facebook accounts. Huh? <laughs> well, now they're saying the same thing with the, the, the face app where people are making themselves look old in the face. Like, like, they're saying it's a Russian trick now. Like, as like they own everyone's like, information. Like, come on. Like, like really? Like, no. Do well, you, we're eager to believe this kind of misinformation but when we get the truth told to us 100% raw, if we don't like the person, we won't accept it. But also what happens is that challenges, that truth challenges the American exceptionalist ideology or the white supremacist ideology, right? Because America is the indispensable nation, right? The nation that the world cannot do without. And there was a book by Francis Fukuyama talk about the end of history and how America right now is at the, at, at, at the pinnacle of civilization and we can get no better. You have to believe those things. Because if you believe those things, like you were saying, truthful statements which challenge those ideas and ideals will get dismissed. Cognitive dissonance. Mm -hmm. You know. So, again, the all-American look is the look of a white person. To be an American means to be a white person. That's why, again, you can't be African-American at the same time. The American dream is dream to be a white person. Because America named after who? America was bougie, right? White person. Oh, now the white person, oh, Italian, who owned slaves, enslaved Africans. So to be an American is essentially to be anti-African. And to identify with American values is essentially to identify with values which are anti-you if you're a black person. So when you see it from that perspective, you know, I have, like, I, I have, like, you know, I have no but they have no dog in this fight with Republicans and Democrats. Because either way, I ain't voting for neither one of them. And I was happy when Trump won to a degree because white folks were mad. They couldn't blame on black people. They tried to. <laughs> I'm like, listen, this is your man. This is your fault. This is your, this is your boy. They tried to say, you know what? You said white folks was mad. Hit, folks pissed was mad. off. 
It's all. Why? Why were they mad? Because Hillary didn't win. White folks here, they were pissed off. Like, oh, you know, so they, they, you're talking about the Hillary back in Yeah, and, and some people was like, oh, I'm leaving America if he win. You ain't going nowhere. You ain't going nowhere. You talking that crap. <laughs> you ain't going nowhere. We'd be going, oh, I'm leaving. You ain't leaving. You know? And or some wife was trying to blame us. Like, oh, you know what? Black should have came out more and vote for Hillary. Why? Oh, yeah. I remember they tried to push that hard. It's like, nah, uh, this, 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 this is your boy. Right? This, this is a turn scene battle. Right? This is white amongst white. Y'all fight, y'all fight it out. Right? I don't care who wins. It's like Iran and Iraq. The U.S. would give them guns to Iran and Iraq. Kill each other off. That's how I'm thinking about it. You know, this is just this is this is your this is your political um, foreplay. Mm -hmm. But you know, Trump is idiotic as he is, makes certain points. But he's been a racist. He's been a, he's. I mean, I remember years ago. Since um, now that chick, who um who made that thirteen documentary and who who made that uh, Duvernay. Right. Yeah. Uh, when, they, when they see us. When they see us, right? She made the Martin Luther King move without any of his speeches for real because she couldn't get any speech oh, clearance, right? right. Yeah. She made that when they see us. Now everybody, oh, you know, this is horrible. I know about this. I, I was a kid. I remember this stuff going on. Everybody, everybody knew Trump was racist. Everybody knew his 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 father was in the KKK. That's, that's common knowledge, right? But he don't care. He's like, ah, whatever. He could care less. You know, call African countries, shit, all countries. He he don't want to think that way. I remember coming up as a kid, they would say African booty scratcher. I remember that. Like, but I would hear that mostly from black people. Yes! Black people here who think blacks in Africa sitting around scratching the booty. Yeah, Africa, they would call them African booty scratchers. Well, they call them a stinking Haitian. Yeah. Now, although Haiti, of course, beat the French, beat the English, beat the Spaniards, right, in order to gain independence, but they're demeaned and demonized. So, but where do we get this uh, disdain for pure black countries uh, or, or continents? African booty scratchers, stinking Haitian, uh, crazy Jamaican. They said every place that is primarily a majority black, we black people look down upon these places. Because again, progress is noted by how close you become to them. That's it. I mean, the more you identify with your strength, the more they get weak. The more you identify with their strength, the, um, the, I mean, the more the more you identify with your strength, the, the weaker they become. The more you identify with their strength, the stronger they become. So, and you see it right there, right? If if I'm watching, this, I don't watch soccer. I don't like soccer. If I watch soccer game, I see Jamaica playing U.S. Who I'm going for? I'm Jamaica. going for Jamaica. Yeah. You know, um, like they had the French soccer team. Everybody from France, I got a team of black. Yeah, you know they throw banana peels on the, uh, on the field at these dudes, and they still play for these countries. And like, yo, they call them gorillas and 